An electron moves with a speed of 1 times 10 to the 7th meters per second in the direction shown in the figure 24.21. So this one. For each, what is the mag... Oh, and then there's magnetic field in the x direction. For each, what is the magnitude... Uh, the mag what is the mag magnetic force, vector f, on the electron? Keep your answers as both a magnitude and direction. So the formula we're going to use is the force of force on a charged particle. So this is the Coulomb force, the first part. This is the Lorentz force, the second part. But I usually just write it as one big formula like this. And then since they don't mention a, an electric field, we just assume that the electric field is zero, which is a fairly safe bet. And so what we're really doing here is we're doing charge, Q, the charge of an electron, and then we're doing V cross B. So the magnitude of this, the magnitude of F, is going to be QVB, because a cross product is a measure of how perpendicular two vectors are. So if the electron is moving along the y-axis and the magnetic field is along the x-axis, the y and x-axis are perpendicular. You can think of it as multiplying by the sine of the angle between the two vectors. Since the, sine, the angle between the two vectors is 90, the sine of 90 is 1, we can just ignore it. So the magnitude of the force is going to be QVB, and that's going to be true for both of them. And I'm going to find that real quick. So that's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. Um, yes, and it's negative, but since we're just doing magnitude, I'm going to drop the negative. Times 1 times 10 to the 7th meters per second. Now when you're getting that close to, um, usually that's pretty close to the speed of light. The speed of light is three about 3 times 10 to the uh, 8 meters per second. And so when you get things times 10 to the 7th, you really should start thinking about relativistic, but we're not going to worry about that here. Times 0.5. So if I was a better person, I could do this in my head. Can I do this in my head? So 0 0.8, because 0 0.5 times 1.6, times 10, negative 19 uh, times 10 to the 7th is times 10 to the negative 12th, which is the same as 10 to the negative 11. Uh, wait a second. Which is the same as 8 times 10 to the negative first times 10 to the negative 12. There we go. There we go. Maybe. This will work. Which is the same as 8 times to the negative 13th. Yeah, I'm good with that. And then that's going to be in Newtons. And 10 to the negative 13th is very small which seems reasonable because we're talking about just a single electron. All right, so now we need to find the direction. So we're going to do V cross B. So the way I do cross products is I do, I point my fingers in the direction of the first vector, which in this case is V out of the board, cross B. So it's going to be V cross B. And then your thumb is going to point in the resulting direction. So point your fingers in the direction of the first vector, bend your fingers in the direction of the second vector, your thumb is a resultant vector, so this is up. And I'm just looking at the first one first. So this is going to be up. V cross B is up. But Q is negative, and so this whole thing is going to be down. So for the first one, the force is going to be down. And it makes sense because you have an X, a V, or X, Y, and Z uh, axes. The V is along the Y, the B is along the X, and so a cross product is always going to give you a vector that's perpendicular to the two vectors you started with. Therefore, it makes sense that it'd be along the Z axis. The question really is up or down. In this case, it's going to be down. And then when we rotate it 45 degrees up, this is just going to re um, rotate this way. So now we're going to have 45 degrees on this side as well. So it just the whole thing is going to rotate. You can still do the thing with your hands. Um, it's easy just to think of it as rotated. So this one's pretty straightforward. I need to know the formula and you need to know the idea of how to do cross products, which is can be a challenge because they're never 
taught well. So hope that helped. See you in the next one.